Well, I'm sure many of you over the years have said to yourself, I sure wish I could play Mortal Kombat Arcade on Nintendo controllers. <laughs> well, your wish has come true, because there is this neat little device here that uh, interfaces between the JAMA connector and the main board here, or your, your JAMA game. It's really any game. Uh, but if you look here, it says... Where's my zoom? There we go. Uh, NESadapter.com and what this does is it allows you to use NES controllers on any JAMA game. So what we have here is MK1 running on the Y unit with this adapter board in here with two NES controllers. And I'm working on this, repairing this monitor for somebody. Well, I actually repaired it. I'm letting it do its burn-in. But check this out. This is pretty neat. Oh, let's go back. All right. So, yeah, you plug your Nintendo controllers into that adapter board, and let's see, which one's player one? This is player one. As you can see, if I hit start, there's start. I got right, down, left, 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 right, up, or I guess it's like midnight. It's been a long day. And then player two, if I hit player two start here, voila. If we go down, let's pick Scorpion and Sonya. All right. Well, Sonya, Scorpion. Uh, all right, so you can see here that we've got you can move all around you can jump this way eight ways we can uh, uh, B is high punch a is block and select is kicks high kick so B is button one a is button two and select is button three and same thing for here uh, B is is What happened? What is going on? I lost uh, my bad connection. There we go, bad connection. I didn't have the controller all the way and plugged in. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, jump, jump. We can do uh, we can do teleport. We can roundhouse. We can uppercut. We can jump kick. So yeah, uh, button one, button two, button three. So yeah, you can play any Jamma game now with uh, NES controllers. And it's pretty neat. It comes in handy because now I don't need a giant control panel that's kind of off-screen over here. If I turn the camera, it's a giant control panel that I have vertical that I use for the test bench here. But now I can kind of get rid of that because all I need is this. It's pretty sweet. Uh, yep. Oh, there we go. But yeah, it works pretty, pretty neat. So I recommend picking yourself up one of these. If you just want a little novelty like this, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Um, sorry there's no audio. Let's see if I can... Hey, there we go. So yeah, pretty pretty awesome in my opinion. Uh, NESadapter.com, pick yourself up one of these. I'm not sponsoring, or the, this video is not sponsored by them in any way. I just think this is a pretty sweet little device that you can use for your JAMA test set up and it's much easier to use something like this than a big clunky giant control panel or whatever. Some of the adapters have buttons on the thing here but I like to have actual controls in my hand but yeah pretty awesome. Uh, so pick yourself up one of these if you want to experience the fun of playing Mortal Kombat on NES controllers. <laughs> so that's gonna be it. I wanted to just showcase this for a bit say how cool it is. Uh, thanks for watching and then tomorrow oh pardon me Ugh. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to get cracking back on the MK3 restoration to kind of finish that up. So stay tuned for that. But I wanted to share this the cool little device here. And uh, pick yourself up one. You'll have some fun with it. I know I am. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.